Hi y'all, Kara here from Club Pilates in McKinney. And here's my little disclaimer. If you have any injury issues, conditions, concerns, please modify. I'll throw out a few while we go. Um, if you have injuries, no, you can always get injured doing exercise and I can't correct you from live streaming. So please be careful. If you have any, I'll throw out some modifications if needed, but if you have any knee issues, hip issues, back issues, you might need some modifications. So you always want to find your range of motion to keep yourself safe and find what works for you. Okay. So be safe. It's going to be a little weird. No music because of copyright infringements with live streaming. So here we go. This is going to be a reformer on the mat functional standing movement. So I'm going to put you through um, a probably somewhere between 30 and 45 minutes, probably closer to 45. Feel free to stop at any time. If I'm doing eight to 12 reps and you need to do six, do you. Okay, keep yourself safe. And then we're going to get a little workout. Your legs are going to feel it mine do when I do this. Um, and thanks for joining me. And I hope that you um, enjoy this workout. So we're going to start with a little warm up. Um, I am today going to use a little ball. If you don't have a ball, a volleyball, a soccer ball, a playground ball, a hoodie rolled up within itself and cinched in the hood, a small pillow, or just don't use a ball like for that. Paper plate, a furniture slider, a cloth if you're on tile or hardwood, Paper plates work better on carpet. Or a gliding disc. Those are the toys I'm going to use today. All right, we're going to start with a warm up. So if you guys will just stand with your hips um, or feet hip width distance apart and then take a big inhale. Breathe deep, fill those lungs with air, and let it out. We're going to breathe the whole time, but a couple more times just to wake up the body and get that blood flowing. Big inhale up and exhale down. One more time. Big inhale up. Stay right here. We're going to do a little roll down. So I want you to round your spine one bone at a time, rolling down towards the floor. Breathe right there. Soften your knees. Breathe. Stack your spine. Coming up tall. From here, we're going to do some squats. So we're going to hinge from hips and knees and sit back with the neutral spine and rise back up. Side view. Hinge back. Notice my hips are going back. My knees are hinged. I don't want you to have knees shooting forward. That will make your knees bad. So we're going to just sit and stand. Sit and stand. Start bringing a bigger arm movement to it if you can. Modify if you need to for your shoulder. And find that nice connection in your core. Breathing. We're going to do two more here. And then we're going to add a knee raise. So a squat, lift one leg. Squat back down, lift the other leg. There's a little pause at the top to add a little balance, stability challenge. Breathing. Sit back, rise up. Sit back, rise up. Back, rise up. We're going to do two more in each leg. So first leg. Second leg. And then bring it up. From here, I want a little calf raise. I don't want you just to pop up, but to articulate up and down through those feet. So heel, ball, toe, toe, ball, heel. Again, abs in and breathe. Lifting and lowering for three, two, and one. We're going to bring the um, leg up to tabletop, shoulders down. Because you can bring a chair, I forgot to tell you, you can have a chair by the side for a balance aid or a wall if you need it. I'm going to test mine without it today so that you can all see me on the camera. And we're going to put that leg down. And then it's like tabletop, crane, hold, breathe. All right. We're going to take that first leg. So um, if you're mirror imaging me, left leg, if I can marry you on my camera here, and then we're going to tip over into a little warrior three in yoga, arabesque and pilates, or just tip over from the hip, and then rise that knee back up. You can always keep the foot as a tap. We're going to reach forward, rise back up. Again, floor is available if you need to for your balance. We're going to hold this next one over, 
and then give me a little hip extension. Pull those abs in and don't go into your back. Make this a glute little wake up. And then put that foot on the floor. I want all 10 toes forward. That um, back leg is square, hips and shoulders like train tracks. Reach your hands forward to me. And then I want you just to shift forward and back a little bit. Here's a side view. A little shift and back. The goal here is lengthening the calf of that back leg. Reach and back. Reach, back. Now reach and hold right there. Stay a little bit weight bearing on that front leg. Hinge over and then up. Now you should feel a little stretch in that front leg glute. And then as you come up a little hip flexor of that back leg. Still keeping train track legs, all 10 toes forward. So you get that calf stretch each time. We're gonna hold this next one up. Stay right here. And give me a little side bend towards the front leg, side bend towards the back leg. Keeping hips and shoulders square. Just waking up those lateral hips, obliques, hip flexors a little bit. And then we bring it back and step back together. So we're gonna squat down again. Knee raise right away. Squat, knee raise, squat, knee raise. Breathing, pull those abs in. Again, checking your alignment. Let those hips go back and those abs draw in. Breathe. We're gonna do two more on each leg. This is the last one on this leg. That leg, <laughs> and sit it down. Holding your little squat position, abs are in, hips are square with the shoulders. I want you to lift and lower your heels a second. Uh huh. Just articulate through there again for three, two, one. Stand it up. All right, we're gonna go back to that little balance challenge. This time it should be the, the second leg. For me, if you were mirroring me, it would be your wrist is right. We're gonna tip over and then come back up. Again, floor is there if you need it. So we're tipping over, kind of like Yoga Warrior Three, Arabesque and Pilates. Reminds me of the drinking bird desk toy my dad had when I was a kid. Reach and pull. Now reach and stay. Hold, square hips and shoulders. Try not to shine that hip up. And then lower and lift the leg. Keep abs in. I don't want it to be from the back. I want it to be from the glute. Right there, that swimsuit line, the smile line, gluteal fold, butt. And then put that foot down, okay? So here's our calf lengthening again. I want you to have wide train track feet, all 10 toes forward. Check your foot, this is important. And then we shift forward and come back. Shift forward and back. Breathing, feel that back leg calf. Get a nice stretch. And then we're gonna hold, shift, and lift. So now we're hinging. Front glute, oh, I'm feeling it. I practiced this yesterday, so my booty's already a little sore. <laughs> hinge, and lift. Hinge, lift. One more time. Hold it up, side bend towards the front leg, and the back leg. The front leg, and the back leg. One more time each side, and then bring it back together. All right, we're gonna do a little curtsy to keep warming up. So the one leg is gonna come back, you're gonna curtsy, tap to the side. Curtsy, tap to the side. Curtsy, tap to the side. So it's a little curtsy and tap. Three more, two, one, other side. Take the other foot out, curtsy back and tap. Curtsy back and tap. Again, you're rotating around that pelvis, keeping abs in, neutral spine, getting that transverse plane, so we get all three planes warmed up. One more, and then bring it down. We're gonna go into a second position. So a wide Pilates stance, kind of like second position in ballet. We're gonna do a little plie and back up. If you have knee stuff, you guys, don't turn out. Stay more parallel and just do a wide squat. You should, if you take a pause, be able to see your instep. So your knees are not turned out past your body. Knees, hips, ankles, all lined up. 
and then hold right here. Take your arms out to the side. We're gonna side bend, big side bend over, and then bring it back up. Go the other way, bring it back up. Big side bend and up, side bend and up. One more to each side. Side bend and up, big breath in and out, stand it up. We're gonna bring the heat a little bit more. We're gonna take that front leg or first leg, curtsy, find that second position, plie, curtsy, plie, curtsy, or wide Pilates V stance, crossover balance lunge, wide, same thing, <laughs> different name. We go down and over, down and over, down and over, down and over. We're going to do one more each way. So stepping back, center, back, center, and pause right there. All right, I hope you're warm. I am. I'm gonna grab my little ball and we're gonna do some squats. I'm gonna stand slightly on an angle so y'all can sort of see me. You can stay facing the screen so you can see. I just wanna point out that alignment again. So the ball's above my knees between my thighs. Whoop, right there. <laughs> Hanging from our hip joint, then our knees and ankles. I want you to sit back and then rise up. Sit back. Rise up, again, torso hinges from the hip joint. Keep your abs drawing in. I want you to find your range of motion. You don't need to go past 90, but find what works for you. And again, you can have a chair or a wall next to you for balance. We have two more full range. Now bring it down to what feels like your low spot today. Even pressure on your feet. Suction cup those arches so you're not falling in on the inside. Now we need to push up halfway, pull back down. Always muscles and not momentum. So don't bounce. Push, pull. Quads and glutes lift you, hamstrings pull you down. So front of the thigh and butt talk, back of the thigh to pull you down. Breathe. Don't forget to breathe. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Three, two. Now hold it down. And then just give me a little inflate, deflate on that ball. So we're just getting a little connect, still holding that squat, right? Press for four, three, two, one, and rise it up. Again, the ball is completely optional on these. I'm gonna take the ball now down to the floor. I'm gonna stand on the balls of my feet, put my heels halfway up the ball and squeeze the ball between my feet. So I'm in a little elevated position. You can keep your feet flat. If you don't have a ball, just squeeze your heels together, okay? So I got a little squish on that ball, so I already feel the wrapping of my thighs and those rotators deep in my hip kick in, okay? So from here, we're gonna do a little hug a tree arms as we do a little plie and rise back up. So you're making a little diamond shape in your legs. That turn out again is from the hip, knees track over that second toe. And don't go too deep here. Go down to your range, pull yourself up. Feel a little energy in the arms, a zipping up in those thighs, glutes, core. Four, three, two, and one. Now find halfway down, okay? Holding that, I want you to go two inches above halfway, two inches below halfway. So about a four inch range, which is about the width of the side of your hand. And just a little up and down, pushing and pulling with intention, never bouncing. Four, three, two, hold here. Now squeeze that ball, just a little squeeze, just a little squeeze. Uh huh. Four, three, two, one, hold. One last thing here. Give me a little right, left hip swing. Use your obliques and just feel your hip rise side to side for four, three, two, one, stand all the way up. All right, a lot of you Pilates peeps are familiar with the hundreds, right? So we're gonna find neutral spine, soften your knees just a smidge, 
Feet can be on the floor or up against that ball still, right? I'm gonna open collarbones and I'm gonna push back. Like I'm pushing against something heavy, even though I don't have a band or spring. Ready? Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. In and out. Fill your lungs with air and let out every last drop. Pumping those arms, the width of your body. Breathing in and deep and out. Halfway, breathe. Pump those arms, pull your abs in, feel the stability in your whole body. Breathe in and out. Two more breaths here. In and out. And release. Nice. All right, I'm gonna put the ball in my hands. Again, if you don't have a ball, not required here. So hands are gonna go out to the side. Standing hip width distance apart, parallel. Nice neutral spine, ribs to hips connected. From here, we're gonna do a standing spine twist. So I just want you to twist a little more, a little more. Rotate to the other side and twist. My hips are staying pretty still and I'm wringing out my waist. My arms should stay the same distance away from each other, like a ceiling fan or a windmill. Just a little rotation of that thoracic spine. One more time, reach. Last time to this side, reach and then take it out. So I'm gonna stand out a little wider, slightly turned out for a standing saw. So from here, I'm going to take the hand that I have the ball in, I'm gonna rotate and reach down towards my toes. Restack my spine, and then I'm gonna go the other way. I'm not switching the ball, because I don't wanna drop it. <laughs> rotate and reach, rotate and reach, rotate, and reach, rotate, and reach, and then bring it back. All right, staying in this wider turnout, again, it's not over rotated. It's turned out from the hips, knees, and toes follow, suction cup those arches. I'm gonna hold the ball in my hand. I'm gonna get a little squeeze right here so I get the chest muscles a little bit. I'm gonna drop down. I'm gonna try to put the ball towards the floor and then scoop it back up. So bring it down, scoop it up. Down, scoop it up, down, scoop it up, down, and up. Six, pull it up. Five, better do this with me and not just be watching me. Three, two, one, ready? Bring it down and stay. Now I want you to hinge forward from the hip. So now my ball is on the floor. I'm gonna keep it there, and I'm gonna extend and bend my knees. Extend and bend my knees. A little side view. <laughs> bend and straighten, pull the hips down, reach them up, bend. A little hamstring work, and a little stretch. Last two. Hold it down right here. Bring the ball up, and then press on the ball. Five, four, three, Two, one, stand it up. All right, I turn forward so you can see me again here. One more little move here. We're gonna come down about halfway. Now we're gonna lift your right heel and your left heel. Right, left. Keep some pressure on that ball. And now keep it alternating. So it's kind of like running or prancing on the reformer. Keep it our knees bent though. Four, three, two, one. Both heels down and rise it up. All right, we're gonna get rid of the little ball for a moment. I'm gonna use my little towel here. <laughs> All right, it is time for the crowd favorite. We're gonna do our gliding displays. I demoed these yesterday on our Facebook page, so you know what you're doing. Again, gliding disc, paper plate, towel, furniture slider, or just do it without anything. It will work as well, okay? So I have the ball on my foot. I'm gonna pick one leg to go first. It's gonna go straight and strong behind me, so that quadricep is active core active. I'm going to bend my standing front leg from the hip and knee and go into a posterior lunge. Notice I have a diagonal line from my head to heel of that back leg. Straight line, straight spine. I'm going to rise up. I'm going to reach forward. I'm going to row back in. Reach forward, row back in. Reach and pull. So even though I don't have weights, which you could, I'm going to get some energy 
in those shoulder muscles, back muscles, arm muscles, reaching. We have four, three, your full range, two, one. Now bring it back and find your spot. Everybody's spot's different, okay? Now, we're gonna go down and up. Again, about a four inch little move. Kinda in the middle, breathe. Uh-huh, four, three, two. Now hold, gliding this leg comes in and out. Like you're pushing off of a scooter or skateboard. This mimics our standing legs on the reformer. Three, two, one, ooh, other leg. You can stay facing forward or sideways. I'm just changing for camera angle. Back leg straight and strong. We're gonna go back and pull it up. Back, pull it up. Breathing. That back leg straight and strong. Front leg hinging. Reach and pull with those arms if you can. Don't forget to pull your abs in. Breathe. Shoulders down away from your ears. Four, three, two, one. Ready? Take it back. Find your spot. Up a little bit, down a little bit. That four inch move, pushing from glutes and quads, pulling with hamstrings, lateral hip working. Last one. Hold, find your spot. Now gliding this leg comes in and out. Abs tight, breathing. Four, three, two, one. And <laughs> stand it up. Whew. All right. A quick little stretch if you want. Again, chair wall balance aid if you need it. And the other, just unlock this for a second because we're not done. All right. Those of you that take my class regularly, you wish for me to do this with you so I count better. Here you go. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna take that first leg back on the gliding disc. Now we're gonna go lateral or sideways. So now we're in that frontal plane. Hips and shoulders square, gliding disc leg parallel. So try not to turn your toe out, but keep it shining forward. From here, we're gonna go down into a lateral lunge. I'm gonna move so you can see me on the camera. Here we go. So we're gonna go down, pull it back in, down. Pull it back in, down. So here, lateral hip, inner thigh on the standing leg. You add a lateral raise. The inner thigh of the gliding disc leg is also working. I need four, three, two, one. Now bring it out. Keep the weight even between big toe, little toe, heel bone on that standing leg. Keep that gliding disc forward, wants to turn out. Up a little bit, down. Pull it down, down, down. Three, two, stay. Now gliding disc leg in and out, in and out, in and out. Four, three, two, one. Stand it up, give it a little shake. We have two legs, <laughs> which you might, might know. Okay, all 10 toes forward again, no turnout, keep it square. Standing leg, lateral hip, inner thigh, doing some work. All right, we're gonna go out with the gliding disc leg parallel and then pull it up. Feel inner thighs, lateral hips on standing leg, inner thigh dragging that disc in as you come tall. And don't forget to zip up your belly. Breathe. The hinge is from hip and knee. Again, that knee, it is not going forward, right? We're going straight back with that booty. Those glutes are working. Your took us. <laughs> Three, two, last full range. Bring it down, find your spot. Then up a little bit, down a little bit. Gliding just still parallel, along for the ride, pulling in. Four, three, two, Hold. Now gliding just comes in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. Three, two, one. Ooh, stand it up. You're still doing this with me, right? I'm entertaining myself in an empty studio, so I hope you are. All right, first leg goes back on the gliding disc. 
it's time for curtsies. You guys, if you need to take a break at any time, please take a break. Do half as many reps as me or do them all with me, whatever works for you. Okay, glider goes out to the side a little bit diagonally in front of me. My shoulders are gonna stay square as I take that disc behind me and bend. So there's a rotation of my pelvis on that standing leg femur, and then I come back up. I like to add a little windmill arm to that. So it's a little side bend and reach, a side bend and reach. It's mostly about the legs. The arms are a bonus, but then I'm getting all the planes of motion if I do that. We have three and two. One more. Ready? Take it back. Now, here we're going to stay tipped over, and I want a little even pressure on both feet. And we're going to do a little halfway up and down, halfway up and down, halfway up and down. Still hinged over from the hip a little bit. Right, right here. And then hold the down. Lift your torso to vertical and give me a little all the way up, a little bit down, all the way up, a little bit down, all the way up. Five, small up, four, three, two, one. Bring it down, hinge back over. Now gliding disc goes in and out, in and out. <laughs> Four, three, can you go down one more inch? Two, maybe, one, and all the way up. Unlock that hip again if you need to. Take a moment, grab a drink if you need it. We have two sides again. All right, test my range here. All right, gliding just goes out to the side. We're gonna swivel it around and bend down. Again, that knee is still tracking over that second toe. Make sure your turnout matches. Take it down. Add the arms if you want. We got that rotate back up top. Rotate around that hip, come back up top. You guys, you should be feeling muscles, not joints. If there's pain in your joint, not the muscles surrounding the joint, we have a problem. I mentioned that at the very beginning. But make sure it's all muscles, not momentum. And if your alignment is good, your knees won't get mad at me. I want two more full range. Last full range, and then bring it back. Find your spot, shift the weight. So there's weight on both feet now. And then give me that pull down, pull down. Absolutely, pull down. Down, this is our last standing legs, if that helps. Three, two, one, stand up, get that torso tall. Bring it down a little bit and all the way up. So now we're upright, spine neutral. Five, four, feel inner thighs and glutes, everything zipping up. Two, and one. And then we gotta go down, right? Hinge, back over, gliding just out and in, diagonally behind you, in towards your standing leg heel. Uh-huh. Last four, three, two, one, and bring it in. All right, y'all. We're gonna go down to the floor for some planks. The gliding discs are optional, the planks are optional. You can go on your hands, on your forearms, or you could go up against the wall, skipping gliding discs, of course, and just tucking knees in and out. I'm gonna do um, three variations. I'm gonna start with what would be knee stretches on a reformer, or just knee tucks, here. So I'm gonna get strong in my shoulders, spreading my hands wide, and getting a nice plank position. I'm gonna get strong in the shoulders, lift my ribs so my abs activate. The shoulder blades should be open, pushing into that floor. Now I'm gonna hover my knees. You can stay right there if that's enough for you. I'm gonna take my legs out and in for eight. Here's four, scoop five, six, seven, eight. One more, because that might have counted wrong. <laughs> and then I move my knees down. You can sit back into that little shell or child's pose like position. Now we're gonna do single leg which would be a single leg knee stretch or often known as mountain climbers. Again, with or without the disc, forearms if you need to be off of your wrist, up if you can. I'm a sweaty mess all over the floor. <laughs> Hope you are too. Open your shoulder blades, get strong, lift out. Pull one knee in, press it out. I want you to go slow here. So it's muscles pulling, 
Core strong. Shoulders strong. Now pick it up for 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And bring it down. All right, last one here, a little bit nicer. It's a scapular glide, so we're gonna find shoulder blades. I like to do this one on your forearms because there's a little more control. It mimics our control front on the reformer. It's gonna come down to forearms, strong, wide, number 11s. And then I'm just gonna slide myself forward and back a few inches, feeling the glide of the shoulder blades. Hopefully my head's in line with my spine. Your quads are tight, your glutes are tight. And then just hold that plank for 10. Breathe. Three, two, one, and bring it in. All right. Again, I need to mop my brow. All right, y'all. See, I promise that was nice ish. All right, from here, we need a little ball or a pillow, a towel a sweatshirt, whatever works for you. All right, I think you can see. I'm gonna put the discs under my feet. Can you see that? Yeah, okay. So my heels are on there. Right now my toes can stay on the floor because I'm not moving the discs yet. We have a few moves here for some active core. So this first one is a half roll back. So we're gonna curl the tailbone under and round our spine to come back. If you have a reason not to round, please hinge back. Otherwise we're doing a little half roll back and coming back up. A half roll back, coming back up. Just like we would do on the short box. Roll it back and up. Now sit tall, hinge back and up. Hinge back. So now my spine is straight and I'm just moving from my hips. I want three more, again, like our short box abs, just that hinge back if you do Pilates. Last one. All right, so the ball is in our low back, kind of wedged up against the sacrum, um, like a little door stopper, okay? Bunny tail look, okay? We're gonna do what's called earthquake abs. So I want you guys to go to the back edge of the system. So the pelvis tilts ever so slightly to feel like you're on those sitting bones. You need to wiggle, wiggle or wiggle wobble to get onto the bones and off of the tissue, you can. And then I want you to lean back to about a 45 or 50 degree angle. I know we don't have protractors, it's okay. All right, we're gonna do a little single leg stretch here from our Pilates mat series that I'll do. I'm gonna lift one leg up to tabletop. My leg on the floor, toes are up now and I'm on my heel. I'm gonna slide it in and out, in and out, in and out. Three, two, one. Sit up for a second, Re reset. Back edges of bones, lean back. You should feel a little quiver. Those abs are working like suspenders to hold us against gravity. Bring the other leg up, and then gliding just goes in and out. In and out. In and out. Three, two, one. And then sit up for a moment. We're going to take this into double leg stretch from the mat series. Again, the ball's going to stay behind our back. Um, go a little higher if you want to go further, so you can lift it, bring the ball a little higher on your spine versus right at the tailbone. Heels are on the disc, so they glide, because your toes are on the floor, they don't. We're gonna take arms and legs away from each other, and then scoop it right back in. If you have room to circle, you may circle the arms, legs just go out and in. So we reach everything out, scoop back in. Inhales, everything goes away, scoop back in. Lean back a little more, but don't arch your back. Just lean. So it's a little reach and scoop. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Two more, last one, and then take a pause. All right, I have one more in this um, position with the disc moving as well. This one I call crisscross, like our crisscross abs, but it's really a little bow and arrow move. So if I straighten one leg and one arm and I bend the other, so it's like I pulled on my bow, and then I come back up, and then I go the other way, and I come back up. So pull one arm and the same leg in, Meet back in center and go the other way. If you want a little more, they can pass in space. You're twisting your rib cage and you're pulling those arms back. Your abdominals are wrapping your waist. Breathe one more time. First side, second side. 
and sit up. All right, last one here, I promise. This one we don't need the gliding disc. This one is going to be an unrotation. We're going to go genie arms, find back edge assist bones, lean back to find your quiver spot. Hold. Take one arm out to the side. Bring it back in. Other arm. Back into genie. So you're feeling, hopefully, opposite side obliques, not your hip flexors, working. Pull your belly button into the wall and breathe one more time to the first side, second side, and then bring it up. All right, we're gonna do a quick little thoracic stretch to release that. You put the ball by your shoulder blades and then reach over the ball, stretch out those abs. You can support your head. Breathe there for a second, because we're not done. And then bring yourself back up. All right, we're gonna do a side arm, side ab. So we're gonna put the bottom hand on the gliding disc. See if I can find a camera range. My hand's gonna go out of range, but you see it's on that disc or paper plate. If you have a ball, put it under your rib cage. If not, you can just, you can have a pillow there or you can stay down on the floor. My top leg is gonna push into the floor. My bottom leg is bent up at 90, 90 like a kickstand. So I don't want it under you, I want it in front of you. It's a balance aid. Keep the top leg pressing down, reach overhead and come up a little bit. Overhead and up, breathe. Two more like that. Now we have an option. You can keep doing this or add on, lift knee and elbow, reach out. Lift knee and elbow, reach out. That bottom side arm, that lat and tricep are pulling in. Can I have three? Two, one, reach it out. Let go of the disc, bring your arms up in the air, like Superman flying sideways and hold it. Feel this top rib. Breathe, three, two, one, and stretch. All right, bring it up. You guys put that ball just right by your hip and then just give me a little mermaid side bend stretch. Stretch out that top side. Breathe, your top hand's like a little water spout. And then bring it up. All right, again, two sides. So we're gonna, I'm gonna swivel around. You could just roll over, but I'm gonna swivel so I can see, uh, well, I can, can't see you. <laughs> I'm here by myself. Top leg out, bottom leg bent up at that 90-90. Gliding disc on, or hand on that gliding disc. We're gonna reach over and then pull back up. Because the ball, the higher it is on your rib cage, a little bit nicer this becomes. So find the spot. We are trying to flex the spine as we come up. We have two more with that top foot pressing down. It's hard to keep that foot down. That inner thigh has to work. Now add a little more if you want to lift and reach, lift and reach, lift and reach, lift and reach, breathe. Last three, last two, last one. Hold a little overstretch and then bring it up. Wedge the ball by your hip and then keep both hips still and reach over, stretch out that top side rib cage. Breathe into it. Hands like a little water spout and then bring it up. All right, y'all, we are so close. I promise you about 45 minutes, we're gonna be right on that. So I'm gonna lay on the floor and I'm gonna do a little bridging, okay? So the ball is gonna go between my thighs and I'm just gonna roll myself back. Oops, Let's see if I can get in camera range. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna press my arms into the floor. If you have a healthy spine and can articulate, do that. If you need to hinge, hinge. So I want you to, to press into the floor, feel your back body activate, your collarbones down and wide, and then we're gonna curl tailbone up, low back, middle back, just the points of the shoulder blades, you guys. So it's on our shoulders, knees reaching over toes, a little pressure on the ball, and then melt your spine down, bone by bone by bone. We're gonna do that three more times. So give me a little pelvic curl, and peel it up, breathe right there, and then melt it back down. Again, curl it up, breathe, melt it down, 
Here's where I think you see my counting skills because I forgot to count. So I'm going to do one more. And then hold that up. Now press on your ball. Squeeze your butt so it doesn't shut off. So glutes are firing. And then fire inner thighs. Knees reaching over toes for four, three, two, one. And then bring it back down. If your glider is still handy, I'm going to put it under one foot, okay? And then I'm going to take that ball and I'm going to put it in the opposite hand. So I have my right foot on the disc and my left hand on the ball. And I'm going to tighten up my core and I'm going to hinge up, pressing both. The hand is, that has a little unstable surface on that left side. And then I'm going to do eight little hamstring curls, seven. So this is like when we do our bridges and move the carriage in and out on the reformer, getting a little hamstring. Two, one, and then lower right back down. Switch the disc to the left foot and the right hand, or the other side to be the other way. Pressing into the ball and the floor, we're going to hinge bridge up, and then slide that disc out and in. Keeping your hips level, ribs to hips connected, and breathing. Last four, three, two, one, lower down. All right, make sure your disc is out of the way. Now, you guys, we are going to lift up into one more bridge. Put the ball under your tail. See how it's under my tailbone? So, you guys, it's under your butt, your sacrum, your tailbone, not your low back. Okay? And then we're going to get strong in that core. So, just pull ribs to hips in. Hands press into the floor. As wide or narrow as works for you, more challenge, you can take them up to the air. And then I want you to bring your legs to tabletop. I'm going to tap down and up. You can have your feet flexed or pointed. I'm pointing, otherwise I'm going to kick a reformer <laughs> across from me. So this is from the thigh, the glute. We're lowering the thigh, not just kicking our feet. Those abs are working to stabilize us, but our low back is supported. One more right and left. Both legs at tabletop. Reset, make sure those abs are in. And then turn out to your Pilates V or first position. And then we're gonna press our legs out long and pull them in. For a little frog, zip up inner thighs, lateral rotators, core, breathe in and out for two more, reach and pull, reach and pull. Now reach and hold, give me a little crisscross, right ankle over left, left over right, inner thigh, four, three, two, one, hug your knees in. Scissors, just two more. Scissor the leg down, reach it up. Scissor it down and up. So give me that reach in opposition. You can add a pulse if you want. Or just reach. Reach and pull. 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 And both legs up to the sky. Pull those abs in. Last time, take your legs down a little bit and up a little bit for five, four, three, two, one. Hug it in. Both feet on the floor. So you guys, just a couple stretches here that will feel nice. I'm gonna put the ball under just my left cheek and I'm gonna keep my right leg bent. I'm gonna hug my um, right thigh in and then I'm gonna pull for a little hamstring stretch. So the ball's under my left cheek and I'm pulling my left hip in. If you've got the mobility, that bottom leg can go out. So if you keep it here, you won't fall off the ball for the stretch. So just a nice hamstring stretch. And wherever your range is, keep your legs straight. So if you're pulling your thigh and you're only to 90, that's okay. I need a stretch too. <laughs> and then I'm going to take that left leg long, and I'm going to hug the right knee into my chest. Now I'm opening that left hip flexor. See how it's reaching over the ball. You can take both feet down oops, to the floor and still get that stretch opening that left side. And then bridge up to put the ball under the right butt hop. And then I'm going to pull that leg to my chest and straighten it up, reaching wherever you can to give yourself that stretch. Again, you can extend where that leg is a little bit, but it's focusing on that leg that's pulling towards you right now, that hamstring stretch. Finding whatever works for you. Stretching that out, breathe. And then bring it in. Now I'm going to straighten that right leg, the one that's on the hip on the ball. And this is going to open my hip flexor. If I take the other leg long as well, Kind of get a little lopsided, but it opens that up a little bit more. Just see what feels good to you. And breathe. And then bring it in. Bridge up. Get rid of the little ball. 
and then we're going to cross the right ankle on the left knee and pull that left knee into your chest. So now we're getting a little glute stretch. The leg is in the air. If you want to circle your ankle a little bit just to get a little release. And then uncross, recross the other way, pull it in, maybe ankle circle, breathe. And then rock yourself up to seated. Legs straight or bent, whatever works for you. I'm gonna take my little ball, totally optional. And then I'm gonna roll it forward. A little spine stretch forward. Or like our standing roll down at the beginning. And then I'm gonna roll it back up. So side view for you, I'm gonna start pushing my ball away, rounding my spine, keeping my pelvis vertical, reaching over, feel that stretch in the whole posterior side, back side, stack it back up. And you all are done. Thank you so much for joining me. You might need some foam rolling. You can rewatch that video that I did on Sunday if you need to, because your booty and your thighs might be a little sore after this workout. Again, thanks so much. I'm Kara from Club Pilates and McKinney. I really appreciate you all joining me today and have a great one.